Oh, buddy. Come on. Just... Let me have this. Let me have this. This gameplay literally pains me. You want to know a bad jet? Play the Demon. The F-100 is a very capable jet. I average out three kills a game in this thing. Genuine skill issue. Sorry, man. I don't know what you're talking about. When I was grinding the F-100, it was such a dream. I researched the F-4C and E in under two weeks with the Super Saber. Okay, okay, I get it. I get the general consensus around my gameplay at the F-100 Super Saber. It's good, I am bad, end of story. You guys really did not seem to like my gameplay of the F-100D, and for some of it I can understand why. I mean, yeah, I agree that I used way too much fuel for this thing, I should have just dropped it down to 25 minutes. But you know what, if this many of you are really saying that the F-100D is somehow good, and I really am just bad at the game, which I partially agree with, then I am inclined to try this aircraft again to see what I can do about it. Maybe I am my own reason why it didn't do so good. Maybe the F-100D Super Saber is actually one of the best top tier jets in the game. Or at least, pretty good, according to some people. But yeah, if you guys are so keen on this thing being that good in this game, then fine. I will try it again one more time and see if I can change up my tactics to find out whether or not this jet truly is any good. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it, because as you all know, I lack skill. Never mind the fact that I've gotten an ace with the A-10 Warthog a couple times and even managed to nearly get an ace a few times with the F-4E. Oh yeah, and did we mention the P-61? Anyway, let's jump right into this. Oh, look at that. Even the game doesn't want me to play this again. That's a totally wonderful sign, people. Should I just stop right now while I'm at it? Maybe I should. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that petty. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm looking at this comment from Harrison C985. He states that as someone who has played since 2015 and has this jet, it's not bad, it's just quirky. It's amazing in vertical fights and its guns are extremely effective, but the rip speeds and having to pop air brakes on all tight turns takes some getting used to. Its roll rate is also a problem, but because you are fighting MiGs a lot, it's not so much of an issue, and the AM9E must only be fired at more than one kilometer distance to make the target properly. To maximize success with the missiles, it is imperative to always lead the target significantly, especially in a turn. Due to poor acceleration, under no circumstances should you go below 0.75 Mach unless you know you aren't being trailed. Okay, with all this taken into account, let's see if I can adjust my tactics accordingly. Let's adjust this to 25 minutes, and I only have access to the AM9Bs because I don't have enough upgrades. Let's go. There. Proper fuel load. Are you guys happy? Well, that's a good sign. Somebody on the enemy team, team killed. Wait. Who brought a Spitfire into this BR? Oh, and it's a full up tier as well. That's, that's amazing. That means there's going to be A-10s and SU-25s with all aspect missiles. How is it turned now that I got reduced fuel load? Let's see. Eh, could be better. It's not terrible, I guess. Maybe it was because of the fact that I used way too much fuel for this thing. CL-13, I know he doesn't have front aspect or all aspect, only rear. But I'm about to aim at him if the A-10 doesn't get him first. Or a 262, or a Yak-38. Okay, hold on. Come on, please, please, for the love of God, hit him. I don't think it's going to. I can't outturn a Yak-38, right? Oh god, I'm over g and I'm about to get a missile on me. Oh god, this is gonna be painful, I just know it. Here it comes. Oh god, how'd that not hit? How'd that not hit? I'm dodging like crazy. This is scary, this is scary, this is scary. 
Oh god. CL13! Oh, he's going down. Never mind. We're good. Yak38! Yes! Turn fight me! Turn fight me, you bastard! Oh, wait. Never, damn it. I want that kill so badly. Well, I'll be damned, guys. I surprisingly didn't die for my first match. And it, this one actually doesn't turn that bad. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was horrible at turning, but then again, I brought a full fuel load because, you know, I didn't know about its fuel consumption. And fuel consumption isn't that bad, actually. Okay. Alright, I do see some of your points so far. Okay. Come on. Uh, I can't outturn that shit. And there he goes. I can definitely see why you don't want to go below 0.75 Mach on this thing. It is not very good at accelerating. Not like the F4 and the F104. Come here, Mr. Yak28. I don't care if you have front guns. I'm desperate for a kill right now. Damn it. I know what that means. I'm not going to be able to catch him now. I'm finally catching up, and i am only got five minutes or less of fuel. He's using up his uh, countermeasures, though. T2, get him! I'm getting nothing from this match except for the fact that I survived, and I'm burning up my engine. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, careful, careful, careful. Do it! No, not the T2! Fucking damn it. Okay, fine. So, the F100 isn't all that bad, but its AIM-9Bs still suck. I can't wait to get the AIM-9Es. Now, I know what that one comment said about leading my targets a little more, but you see, that's the problem with the AIM-9B. It's impossible to lead your targets. Because you have such a tiny little window for locking onto them. I would really like it to where I get a down tier so I can just outperform everybody else in some way. This is me and the F-100 we're talking about. I'm not exactly feeling the most confident. For obvious reasons. Uh... Hey, Beaveth. <laughs> you wanna, like, see me fly, fling my missile at the aircraft? Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do it! Hey, get, get the hell out of here! Ugh... <laughs> Hole. <laughs> hey, Beavis, there's a whole bunch of jets below us. Think we can sneak up on them or something? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. hey. hey, Beavis, I'm about to fling my missile at this Yak 38. <laughs> 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 Hey, Beavis, we got a Yak-38. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me, let me try now. <laughs> um, uh, mm, mm, he's died. Hey, I got him! <laughs> Damn it, Beavis, you let him get the assist? You didn't get the full kill? And you gave us a missile hit, dumbass. Oh yeah, I got a kill and an assist that time, that's something. Oh, that explains why. It's a fucking A5C, no wonder. But hey, at least I should have the boosters after that. That'll allow me to perform a lot better. By the way, if you guys like my Beavis and Butthead impression, let me know. I mean, yeah, I still wish I had countermeasures on the F100, but I guess I might be able to make this work. I still hate the A5C, though. You know, guys, I've been getting nothing but up tiers this entire video, and that really doesn't raise my spirits on this thing. No matter, I'll make the most of it, I guess, just like I did in the last match. Su-25, Harrier, A5, Nesher... Lots of Hunters and, SC and A5s. Which one do I want first? Let's find out. Uh... Whatever, I'll find out once I go down there. I want no heat signature right now. 
The A-10 is about to send one to the nest here. Alright. Let's just forget about them. Any missiles? Anything? Surprisingly, no. I'm kind of shocked. I thought I'd be shot down by now. MiG-21. Will he see me? That's my question. Uh, well, even if he doesn't, he's still not going to be able to get a... He's still not going to be in a good angle for me to hit him with a missile. Or is he? Actually. Actually. Oh, okay, never mind. He's popping countermeasures. Come on, game. Please. The missile knows where it is at all There times. goes the missile. Okay. I want him to be distracted. The missile knows where it is at all times. There he goes. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, he popped in. Damn it. That's not gonna work. Hello. MiG-21. I want you. I want you to want me. Should I? I don't think I should. I'm not gonna do it. You trying to get me in a vertical climb, bro? Isn't that what the other comments claim that that's actually good at? I'm watching for that A5. I know that A5 might want to. Come on. What you gonna do, A5? You're gonna ignore me? Okay. Where that? There he is. Oh, buddy. The missile knows where it is at all times. Come on. Just. Let me have this. Let me have this. Oh, I got a critical. Severe. Yes! Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm having a good time with this. Is he? Oh no, no, no! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. All right, okay, I'll admit, the F-100 is not as bad as I made it out to be in the last video. I just sucked. You guys are right, I was wrong, this air aircraft is good, I suck. But I'm doing good now, so there's that. Oh, they're all swarming him, he's done. I don't think I need, I don't think I need to. I'll let them take it. He's gonna crash into the water. There he goes. Don't want to overload myself that much. Extreme overload of 12 Gs. Okay, I, I do like that quite a bit. Uh, wait. What? A5 just dropping bombs somewhere? Where though? There he is. Hi, buddy. I got one AIM-9B with your name on it, bro. Okay, if I can just not overload though. Overload. Oh, somebody got him. Harry, Eddie, I need this. Please. Good sir. Damn it. Alright, fine. I still got one kill and I'm happy about it. Wait, why are we losing? The problem with the overload can be a good and a bad thing at the same time. You know what I mean? Oh, he's over there. Fuck. I want one AI, please. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Mine. Well, we lost, but I had a good time. Let's go. I mean, yeah, I'm only averaging one kill per match, but at the same time, it's it's gotta count for something, I mean, compared to the last video on this. Alright, new boosters, I definitely need that. And just to make sure it doesn't screw up my fuel quantity, let's reset that to... that. Yeah, let's do 55%. 26 minutes. Some guy in the chat said that the A4E, his plane, is his first time using the plane and it's useless. Can you guys let me know whether or not the A4E is useless in the comments down below? I mean, last time I played it, I obviously did terrible, but it wasn't all that bad. I mean, it turned pretty good. It does get access to AM9Bs. So many people play the G91 R4, I've noticed. 
I guess I can understand why it is pretty good from when I played against it, but still. So many. Wait, who, who is that? F86, he doesn't see me. Come on, isolated target, isolated target. I don't want the G91 right now. Never mind, ignore, ignore, ignore. Because I know most of these players can pretty much outturn me. I don't want to have to deal with that. Alpha Jet. Oh, he's pretty much severely damaged, isn't he? I'll finish him off. Never mind. I suck at aiming. Damn. 11 Gs. I do like the fact that it pulls that many Gs in barely even flinches. Also, I am starting to notice a bit of a difference with its performance now that I got the boosters on there. Alright, who can I go head on with? Somebody. This guy. Got him! <laughs> Alright, I got severe damage to my wings, like the, the, the center of my wings. I can't pull nearly as many Gs now. Which is not good, but I guess that means I'll just have to resort to boom and zoom tactics. I have no oil leaks, no fuel leaks, I still have plenty of ammo and A9Bs, so I'm good. I'm feeling good. Come on, buddy. Got him. And there I go. There we go. Got him. Yeah, I am feeling up for one more. Let's do it. Um... Well then, my game completely crashed! Would you look at that? And you know what the worst part is? I was genuinely enjoying myself with this aircraft, but seeing the game crash just... No, it didn't really ruin it that badly. Okay, that definitely did. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, guys, as unfortunate as it is, I guess I really do have no other option but to end the video here. So that was my gameplay of the F-100D. The second gameplay, I should say. And I'll admit, I was wrong. You guys were right. This aircraft is actually pretty good. I just suck. So there you have it. Are you happy now? I thank you once again for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe, share this with your friends, hit that thumbs up button and notification bell, and let me know in the comments what you want to see me fly next. If I have it, I will fly it. But with that being said, everybody, have a fantabulous future, and goodbye.